Good afternoon. My name is Sarah Jurgensen. I've created this presentation as my Technical Presentation Skills 2016 Spring Assignment for the Learning Technology Education Curriculum at UNT. In my 20s and early 30s, most of my nutrition came from fast food and Red Bull. At 33, I was having really terrible stomach aches, so I went to the doctor and they gave me the little purple pill, Nexium. It actually helped, but I wanted to fix the pain, not cover up the problem. So I knew changing the way I ate was the answer. But like most of us, I had a full schedule, and so changing the way I ate had to be easy. Today's presentation, Healthy Eating is Easy, I will share with you some of the tools I have developed over the years to make healthy eating an easy part of my life. We will grill pork tenderloin, roast chicken, roast some veggies, and steam some greens. We'll move to the kitchen and start cooking while the food cooks. We'll come back and discuss why the food we eat is so important and enjoy some healthy appetizers. Handouts are here for you to take notes if you'd like, and all the recipes are at the end of the, at the handout. Let's move to the kitchen. Let's begin preparing the food. We have chicken legs and a pork tenderloin. We're gonna use this Grillmates chipotle and roasted garlic. Other things that you can use are Grillmates spicy Montreal steak. This Grillmates Montreal chicken is also really good. Keep it simple by just adding some salt and pepper. Thyme leaves and rosemary are really good on chicken, either in the oven or out on the grill. You can give it a little kick with some cayenne pepper. All right, let's season the meat. Turn over the meat. You can also add variety by putting the chicken on the grill. Or by putting the uh, pork tenderloin in the oven. All right, put these in the oven. The oven's already preheated at 375. Set this timer for 20 minutes. And in 20 minutes, we'll flip the chicken legs. We'll also go put this on. We'll check this in 20 minutes too. Grill's preheated. Preheated to 400 degrees and it will cool down to 375 while I put it on. And cut up some vegetables. It smells good. Now we're back in the kitchen. Let's prepare some vegetables. I have some yellow squash and zucchini, broccoli, asparagus, mushrooms, and red chard. So I'll demonstrate how to cut up the vegetables and then if I could get some volunteers to help me. I'd be glad to help. Yeah, great, thanks. Rebecca? Absolutely, okay. I would love to help. All right. So we're gonna just cut off the ends, both ends, and then we're gonna cut this about in half an inch. Here, like that. Okay. Okay. I can do that. Thank you. All right. So the broccoli. Just gonna cut off the florets like this. Okay. And then make them all. Oh, about like that, that okay. size. Okay. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm.
As we finish cutting these vegetables up, let's put them on the tray. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. That's great. Thank you. Next, we're going to prepare the asparagus. So, we're going to get the tough ends off. There's tough ends that we just bend it like this, they'll just snap right off. So, can you help me with that, Ralph, please? Happy to. Thank you. All right, so for the mushrooms, we're just gonna cut the ends off like that. Oh, just the stems. Yep, just cut the stems off, so just the very end. All right. Next, I'll show you how to get this big fat stem off of the greens. We're gonna just grab them right here. Pinch it and snip, and this will pop right off. And we can add, put them right here on this cutting board. Mm -hmm. So, grab this. And just twist. Yep. Okay. Alright. Oh. Okay, so while Rebecca finishes taking off those ends, get a Add some olive oil to the vegetables. And just a little bit of salt. I lined the pan with foil for easy cleanup. All right, these are ready for the oven. Thanks everyone for helping cut up the vegetables, great job. Alright, so we're going to steam these greens in a steamer and this is the colander that goes inside the steamer. We'll put these greens in here and let's get this turned on. So we'll get this boiling in about five minutes before everything's ready, we'll put these on. To prepare these greens, we're going to cut them up about an inch and a half wide. Maybe down the middle once. Yeah. All right, so these will be ready to go on five minutes before everything's ready. While this is cooking, let's go back into the living room and talk about why the food we eat is so important and how to make it easy. Now that we have the food cooking, let's take a look at why the healthy eating is so important. I saw this quote by Benjamin Franklin, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, and it really summed up the reason why healthy eating is important. Many chronic illnesses like obesity, diabetes, heart disease, and cancer are largely preventable. Investing time and effort into adopting healthy lifestyle and taking proven measures to avoid chronic illness pays tremendous dividends in terms of quality of life, longevity, and expenses down the line. Harvard conducted a study to determine how much more it costs to eat healthy diet like fresh fruits and vegetables an unprocessed food versus an unhealthy diet with processed foods. And they determined the healthy diet costs $1.50 more per day, which is only $550 more per year. And on the other side, as far as medical expenses go, the Mayo Clinic ran statistics on their employees and adult dependents, and it showed it costs $1,800 more per year in medical costs for an overweight person versus a healthy. Obese BMI is 30 or more, and they measured a uh, body mass index for 35 to 40, costs $3,000 more per year in medical costs. Above 40, $5,500 more in medical costs. Smokers were $1,270 more, so 
it is costs more to eat unhealthy than it does to smoke cigarettes. I want to point out that our DNA compared to a chimpanzee's is really close, only 1.1% difference. And we're 0.1% different from each other. And look how different we eat. Eight point of Americans' diet is plants. 94% of a chimpanzee's diet is plants. 41% of Americans' diet comes from added sugar and fat. And part of the reason their diet their diet is so good as they don't have McDonald's. We are what we eat. This slide shows interesting statistics on how quickly our cells rejuvenate. Our cells are created by the food we eat, which gives us the control. What is your choice? Both these women are 80. What will 80 look like for you? How do we accomplish eating healthy? Keep it smart and simple. Simplify. Instead of counting calories, think of your diet in, in terms of color, variety, freshness. Focus on avoiding packaged uh, processed foods and choose fresh ingredients instead. Other ways to simplify are to make small changes. For example, choose roasted chicken versus fried chicken. You can write it down. Whenever I had the stomach aches, the doctor uh, asked me to write this, what I was eating down and it really made a difference in the choices that I made. I was surprised to see some of the choices that I was making. Eat what you like, so try new things. Find new <coughs> things that you like. Keep trying different things. Uh, prepare more of your own meals at home. Uh, you can monitor your food whenever you eat at home and you really cut down on the added sugar and fat that restaurants put into the food. Read the labels, even healthy foods. Sometimes when you look at the back of the labels, they have added fat and sugar. Focus on how you feel. Whenever you eat unhealthy foods, you usually have a tendency to feel run down, drained, loss of energy. Whenever you eat healthy foods, you'll notice you feel more energy. Drink lots of water. Water helps flush our system of waste and toxins. And a lot of us go around feeling dehydrated, which causes us to be tired, low energy, headaches. We mistake thirst for hunger. So staying well hydrated will also help you make healthier food choices. Another way to encourage healthy eating is to keep healthy foods around. These are frozen fish from Whole Foods. Uh, they're really quick to thaw and quick to cook. So whenever you need a meal on hand, you'll have it. Amy's are another example of quick, healthy meals on the run because sometimes you really just don't have the time. Does anyone else have any other healthy ideas that they, they do at home that they'd like to share? I have one. Yes. I try to shop from around the edge of the grocery store with uh, fresh fruits and vegetables and fresh meats and then cooking on the grill and using steamers are very healthy ways to prepare without having to add a lot of non-value uh, additional content. Thanks, Rob. I have, I have a vegetable basket for my grill. Oh, nice. So when I grill, I can cook my vegetables too. Oh, great. Great way to get a bunch of vegetables. A little bit of olive oil and some spices. It's delicious. All right. Thanks. Yeah. One, too, actually. Uh, I use the spray on the, uh, in the skillets as opposed to using oil or butter because it's a lot healthier and the results are the same, you know, and you can get the kind that's actually plain with butter. It's, you know. So I use that. It's real convenient and it's it saves a lot of calories. Thanks, Rebecca. Let's enjoy some healthy snacks.
situation and thought, hey man, this is what it is. When I woke up and I looked down and I saw the situation, I said, no surprise, it should not be. and see how lunch is going. Ah, the timer. Time to turn to me. Setting a timer definitely helps make it easy. All right, looks great. All right, that is gonna be done in about 15 more minutes. Set the timer for 15 minutes. We're going to flip the chicken. Tenderloin needs to be at an internal temperature of 170 degrees. We're at 170 degrees there. Yep. Alright. Let's go finish up the greens. We're ready to make our plates. Some asparagus, mushrooms, squash. Healthy lunch. Let's eat. Thanks everyone for joining me today. I encourage you to pay attention to how you feel. You have the power to be healthy by making the right food choices. You are what you eat. I hope you can take some of the ideas here to make healthy eating easy for you. Imagine yourself as the strong, energetic, and active 80 year old. Thanks again. I hope you enjoy your lunch. Please fill out the evaluation at the back of your handout. You also have a certificate for completion of the course that you can take home with you. Enjoy your life. Here's a list of the resources that I use to create this presentation. Thank you for your attention.
One of the healthy recipes we had today was carrot cake energy squares, and we're going to talk about how to make them. Here's the full recipe. First is the preparation. Step one is to peel and grate the carrots. Next step is to zest the lemon. So you'll get a grater and just uh, peel the, uh, grate the edges of the rind off. Step three is to measure all the ingredients. You're gonna have a half a cup of almonds, half a cup of walnuts, one teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of salt, and a half a cup of raisins. Next step is to measure the wet ingredients. One tablespoon of applesauce, one tablespoon of coconut oil, one teaspoon of lemon zest, and one cup of carrots. This recipe, the sweetness is the applesauce and the carrots, so that's why it's so healthy. Step five is to get an eight by eight preparation dish and line it with parchment paper. Make sure to cover the sides of the pan with parchment paper because that, that's what you're going to use to pull out the ingredients. You're going to use a food processor for this. You're going to use the steel blade. Uh, be careful, make sure you handle it carefully. Next thing we're going to do is mix all the ingredients together. First step is to put the almonds, walnuts, cinnamon, salt into the food processor. We're going to process them for 30 seconds until they're finely ground. Then we'll add the raisins. Then we'll process for 10 seconds longer. We'll put all this mixture into a large bowl. Then we're gonna stir in the grated carrots. Next, we'll add the applesauce, coconut oil, and lemon zest. We're gonna stir it up until it's well combined. Next, we'll pull, pour this mixture into the uh, prepared parchment lined pan.
We'll firmly press this mixture evenly into the pan. You can have a var variation of this recipe by rolling to the mixture into little balls. Next, we'll set the squares. First, we'll put the mixture into the freezer. And we'll let it set for one hour. Then we'll remove from the freezer. Next, we'll remove the mixture from the pan. We'll grab the edges of the parchment mix paper and pull it out. We're going to cut the mixture into 12 squares. You can refrigerate these squares in airtight container up to three days. Enjoy your healthy snack.